Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Rebel Galaxy. We are here at the Palanga Zone Outpost, and I just want to give you guys a quick update on what's been going on in the game so far. I've essentially played about an hour since the last episode, just collecting some more credits. You can see we're up to 80,000 credits right now. And let me show you some things that have been going on with the equipment of our ship. Uh, just to let you know, I haven't done any, any main storyline quests or anything like that. I've just been doing, you know, randomly generated missions and essentially trying to survive. So here is what we have right now. Weapons-wise, our Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Delta turrets are all... Mining lasers. These are so awesome. These are so much fun. Uh, let's take a look so you can see the stats on these. So they do 80 damage a second. They're 80 DPS. They have a 1600 range, which is pretty great, and they're a beam weapon. So they lock on to targets, small fighters, capital ships. They do 125% shield penetration and 100% hull penetration. And not only that, but these mining lasers are, are great at, you know, blasting asteroids. Which is really cool if, you know, you want to get into the asteroid mining bit. So, uh, here's, here's what happened. Essentially, I found two of these mining lasers in special cargo containers that were floating around in space. And uh, I went ahead and, and bought two more of these. They're not actually that expensive. And you can see we have some crazy options. Look at these, like, MK2 particle lasers. 150 DPS. Oh my gosh. They're 58,000 credits, so super expensive. And the rest of our uh, equipment is all the same. So what I want to do, we're going to get our defenses going right now. So we're going to get some better shields. So right now, our shields, look at this, they only block 300 damage before they're out. And they have a 10 second recharge. We can get these, these MK2 field impact shields. 1200 damage blocked. Oh, this is exactly what we need. Let's get these. Let's go and install these. Let's sell our old ones. And, and it's so funny, you know, I've been running around with, like, the noob defense equipment this whole time. Uh, just trying to save up money so we could we could upgrade here in this episode. Alright, let's get a better deflector. Let's see what our options are. We've got the MK1. Uh, we can block 225 damage. 20 second drain time. We could go for the MK2s, which block 495. Let's see what else our, our other options are here. Uh, mm -hmm. Ooh, what are these? Ramming deflectors inflict damage upon impact. Wow, what? Oh, neat. So you could you could turn these on and like ram ships? That is blowing my mind right now. So those block that this blocks 660 damage. Ooh, that seems even better, doesn't it? I don't The recharge time is a little bit longer. 18 seconds compared to 14. Ooh, I don't know. I'm so tempted. Or we could just get the normal MK2 deflectors. You know what, though? I kind of want these better ones. Let's do it. Let's get them. Let's just see how they work out. And we still have our standard hull plating. Uh, we could... Let's at least upgrade to the MK1 ceramic. It'll it'll uh, absorb 1,000 damage. Ours only absorbs 600. I'd really like this better. But you know what? Let's save up for the better hull plating before we go spend some money. And, you know, I noticed... If we look at our subsystems here... I noticed something. Oh, actually. Oh, I did find this. Let me show you. I found uh, an MK2 plasma drive. Oh, no, no, no. An MK2 antimatter drive. Yeah, I found this floating around as well. This gives us, uh, lets us cruise around at 152 meters a second. Previously, we had just this 45 megawatt engine. I think that's what MW stands for. Just 100 meters a second. So, uh, this was a great upgrade. Again, I found this just floating around. I was super thrilled. So very cool. But this looks really neat. This fault tracker in the subsystems you can install on your ship. Look what this does. Fault tracking software identifies weak points on mineable resources during a pulse scan. Cracking objects along these faults increases mining yield significantly. And for instance, like, I, I cracked an asteroid earlier without this, you know, and I got one gold, which sold for like 6,000. Makes me wonder, you know, will this let you get potentially two, three, four of a resource, something like that? That could be kind of cool to check out. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, let's go pick up a mission. We're just going to try to pick up a mission, and then we're going to circle back. We're going to try to upgrade our, our hull plating, and then we're going to go do... Uh, I'd like to do the storyline mission. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'd like to do. So let's get something we can we can handle here. The militia patrol force... Oh, no. Oh, no. This would, uh, this would get us a boost with the Red Devil Cartel. Oh, all of this is. I'm at a. I'm at a Red Devil cartel. Oh my God! Let's get out of here. What am I doing here? 
living the dream, apparently. Let's go somewhere where we could actually... You know what? Let's just go do the main storyline mission. Let's give it a try. Screw it. Plans change, you know? Plans, they're, they're fluid. They can change, yeah, they flow. You know, you just gotta, you just gotta go with the flow sometimes. And I'd really like to upgrade our scramjets. These are quite weak right now. But I'm, I'm, I'm really stoked about upgrading our shields. I can't believe we were, you know, I just running with those noob shields this whole time. Only absorbing 200 damage is just insane. Like I would get up to a little group of fighters, and they would, they would burst through my shields within seconds of getting into the battle. But the really cool thing is uh, those mining lasers. Man, they lock on to fighters, and and the fighters can't get away from me. If they're within like 1,900 meters, then those lasers just utterly rip them to shreds. They are like little bits of spaghetti floating around in space once we're done with them. All right, so we are going to whiz bang around here. So if you recall, you know, in the last episode, we... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's just fire some missiles off. See if we can't get up on these guys. Skadoosh. A few more shots there. Let's... Boom. Oh, yeah. This is way better. This is more dupers nice. Uh, having better shields is incredible. And look at those lasers. Tell me that is not the shizzle. Things just got so much more palatable here in this first sector. <laughs> dead. So dead. It's douche. Douche might not be the right the right sound effect. I think, you know, for, for lasers in space. Okay. Alright, that was incredibly easy. Those mining lasers make quick work of enemies. And before I just had two of them on there, and we still had a couple of our pulse turrets. And those pulse turrets, I'm sorry, they're just so weak. They're so, so weak. Once you get into, like, a beam weapon, it's incredible. And we just passed a little little patrol of probably the Red Devil Militia. Cartel, not Militia. All right, we're about a thousand sexy muggles away from our primary mission. Yeah, so like I was saying, you know, we uh, we essentially made contact with that AI symbiote in, in that uh, reliquary that we have, or, or whatever it is. Initiating contact. Okay, what are we doing here? I should prob- oh, okay, incoming message. This location appears to be accurate. I cannot quite identify the exact source, however. It is likely that it is within some of the wreckage. Excellent. How do we find out which one? I will continue to refine the search and then- Wait. Oh, yeah. Ships are entering the region. Of course. The systems are active. I believe their intention is hostile. Thank you, sexy blueberry lady. Let's uh, see what they have to offer us, shall we? Where are they? Ooh. Oh! Missiles out! Alright, let's try to take out a few of these fighters. <laughs> Dead. Wow, there are a lot of enemies that have flown in here, ladies and gentlemen. Lot of enemies. There's Black Hand Sims. Oh, what are all... What, what is going on out here right now? All right, we're gonna we're gonna try to fly to the outskirts of this, pick off some of these side targets. Oh, just missed them. Oh no, yeah, now you're dead. Lasers out. Those lasers are crazy effective. All right, Black Hand Sims, you're gonna suckle on a couple of missiles. We're gonna fly around here. Come over here and get the broadsides going. We are going to try and show you what is up. Deflectors go. So we could ram. Ooh, hey, does anybody want to try some ramming? Oh god, oh god. I was gonna get up on this guy. Here we go. <laughs> a little a little ramming action. Uh, we are suffering massive damage, ladies and gentlemen. Starboard shields are down. That's not good. Uh, we are down to 40%. Ship. Oh, come on. We're going to keep firing the missiles here, see what we can keep doing. We need to let our shields regenerate. We still have a couple of fighters. I'm going to try to hit the fighters and take them out. Man, those deflectors really don't stop a lot of missiles. Okay. Here we go. We have uh, a couple of... Ooh! Cargo container. We picked up some MK1 shields. That's not bad. That's not bad. I like finding equipment because that's... Like a bonafide, decent sale. 
All right, here we go. We got another hammerhead over here. Let's just target this guy. Does he have any loot on him? None on this guy, and none on this guy. All right. Here we go. We're going to start broadsiding them. Here go the, the mining lasers. Look at, look, just look at how effective that is. Here we go. All right, we're going to try to ram this guy. <laughs> hey, that's a lot of fun. And then just tear him to bits when you're up close. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't handle space? Yeah. Yeah, you can't handle I have space. I pointed the location of the fragment and identified it for you. Scavenging the wreckage should recover it. Okay, so do we do we blow up the wreckage, I guess? Let's get our lasers out. Just just sort of beam away on this guy. Well, well, man, nothing's really doing that much damage to this. Okay, shields are almost down on the derelict. I think this is it. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Let's get over here and look. Bounty detected. Oh, here we go. Oh, hold the savage. I, uh, salvage. I'm ridiculous. Initiating contact. Bounty detected. Okay. Incoming message. Here we go. I have integrated the fragment into my reliquary and recovered some small part of my memory. I confess, it is a relief. All right. How much of your memories have you recovered, lady? They are not whole, and I cannot reconcile them all. I can recall the name I was given. I was, am, called Trell, at least. That is the closest approximation in your language. Trell, what a name. Sounds better than Spectre. You have helped me, and so now I will return the favor. I have analyzed this vessel for likely improvements, and there are two that I can readily offer. Booster efficiency could be easily increased. However, I can also perform a similar modification for deflectors. You know what? We just upgraded our deflectors. Let's go for the booster. As you wish. The modification is now complete. Booster for augmentation. Now, I must analyze my recovered memories. I do not believe any more fragments of my reliquary exist within this solar system. However, I must study further before being certain. Okay, so... No more stuff to find in this system, potentially. What is over there? Okay, a bunch of friendlies. So let's take a look. Can we see the equipment we got here? Let's let's scope it out. Did she put a component on here? Oh, yeah, it looks special. Booster augmentation. Trail has augmented your onboard systems to improve booster efficiency by 10%. Okay. Look at the damage on the side of our ship here. Those uh, blaster holes in the side of our ship. That's cool. So, Sandar wants us to talk. Oh, okay, we haven't talked to him in a while. Here we go. Yeah, no one knows what you're what you're trying to say here, Xandar. Sandar. Okay, so he's succeeded in arranging a meeting with Zinya. News travels fast. What are the details? Okay, yeah, I trust him. Okay, so he wants to meet kind of far away from prying eyes. Well, that's no problem in space. What is this on, on Sandar's back? He's got some sort of hilarious stuff going on. All right, end conversation. Let's Voice go. Indicates that this individual is prone to deceit. Excuse me. That was obvious, wasn't it? Yes, Trell. That was really obvious. We know Sandar is potentially, uh, the, the, you know, the deceit master. It's just, it's just what we got to deal with right now. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna dock. What I want to do is upgrade our, our hull plating here. And I want to say that was over here. We'll head to Pygmalion Station. You got to be careful, though. Over here at Pygmalion, you can see the uh, the Red Devil, the cartel. They have an outpost right here. And the outpost we want to get to is very nearby. So it's very possible when you're in warp to accidentally come out of warp right over here and just have tons of enemies around you. So let's head out here. 
We're gonna head this way. We're not actually that far. Ah, uh, hang on. We we've entered warp too soon. That's something you, you know, you never want to do. You never want to blow your warp l uh, early. Okay, so we want to come around the side of this planet. I think we just passed a traitor. I should have looked. Here we go. All right, we're going to try to come in from the side here. Just sort of slingshot ourselves. All right, we're not going to be able to turn quick enough. 28 muggles away. We should be there in approximately 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, let's go ahead and dock up here with the old tent hauser. You know, I'm really enjoying this ship. All right, let's refill the ordnance. Let's get some repairs done. Wow, 2,100 credits to repair. Look at all the damage we had. 61% to our power core. Yep, damage. Uh, we're going to repair all. Any cool ships we haven't seen? No, not really. We've seen all these. Okay, so we know we want to... Oh, we're, wow, we only have 16,000 credits. I don't think we're going to have enough to get this defense that I wanted, the whole plating. Dang it, 19,000. That's okay, let's check out commodities. Maybe we have some stuff to sell? No, we don't. So let's go get a mission, available missions. We need something that'll pay us pretty well. Hmm, I do like this one. Betty Pizal's Siege. Sent to City Outpost is under siege by a huge double jack force. 11,000 credits is offered to any captain that can eliminate Betty Paisal, without whom the siege will surely crumble. Taking it. Betty Paisal, you are about to see what the old Tenhauser tastes like, my friend. Let's see, where's this mission at? Holy smokes, that is far away. Holy crud. We're 5,300 away? Alright, well, let's enter warp. And then what we'll do is we'll do one of those uh, stylish cuts or whatever. You know, get us out there. Once we, once we can get going. Here we go. Let's get the warp going and uh, and then we'll cut back, I think, as we're getting near. Or as some event comes up. So I'll, I'll catch you all in just a bit. Well, looky here, ladies and gentlemen. This just happened to crop up right in front of us. A message transponder. Let's see what sort of goodness we can potentially get. I'm totally hacked. All right, we have a tip about a spectacular mining opportunity near Senta City. Oh, interesting. Aren't we heading over there? You'll want to move fast, though, as opportunists won't be far behind. Sen Senta City. We are heading out here. Look at that. We're heading out here, and this is where it wants us to go. Okay. These are, like, right next to each other. Cool. Engines at maximum. So let's head on back out. We're still going to head over to Betty Paisal's Siege. I want to take Betty out. Betty, Betty's not going to know what hit her. Once the old, uh, you know, Gooch Snoog comes out there. That could, that could potentially be the name of our ship. I wish you could give your ship a name and, like, have it show up on the side. Oh, oh no. No, what is this? It is a Corvette. It has some Yik Yak meat. We have a, uh, a big carrier. Now, earlier... When I was doing some missions just on my own, I was able to take out one of those carriers. You know what? Let's fight these guys. That could be worth a bounty. All right, here we go. He is within range. Come on, baby. Here go the, the mining lasers. Done. Yeah, this this is getting so much better. Oh, he's got some ordnance. All right, I'm going to save the ordnance. I'm going to keep it right there, because that will refill us. And we're going to head out towards these guys. And uh, we can use some of our missiles. Because, uh, yeah, there's an ordnance crate right there. Incoming hail? All right, looks like they're hailing us. Hey, baby, look at these earrings. It looks like, like something from Spore, like one of the little upgrades you get for your creatures. Okay, uh, let's see here. I don't have any cargo. Well, guess what, lady? You tangled with the wrong ship. The Red Devil Cartel really, really hates us. All right, that command ship is getting close. Let's target it. Get some missiles going here. A lot of fighters over there as well. Getting quite a few shots off. I need to be careful, though. There goes uh, one of the fighters is down. Missiles inbound. Yeah, they all exploded, unfortunately. 
for the missiles, not for us. All right, missile came and connected. We are just outside of range for a good bit of this, but not against this hammerhead. We're, still, we're, we're still doing all right. Shield-wise, we're holding up. Okay, now we, uh, we're we whittling them down. We've got the command ship left and some fighters. Looks like one, one frigate. Get this guy, finish him off. Here comes a missile. I just love the combat in this. It's so much fun. Oh, we don't play that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get this guy. I want to get this Corvette right here. Uh, let's flip back around here. Man, these new shields are incredible. So these upgrades are making a massive difference. The fact that we're able to, like... Look at that. We absorbed all of those missiles they just shot at us. All right, we're, we're converging. Missiles absorbed. Let's get the broadsides out. Absorb some more missiles. His shields are almost down. Uh, okay, he's outside of range. Well, let's try to catch up a little bit. He is he is really, really fleeing here. Oh, shoot. All right, we're on the command ship. Let's, let's just, let's have at it. Come on, get the, get the lasers going, baby. All right, we're taking them down. This is totally happening. Come on. Yes! We took a command ship out. Holy smokes. Woo! That is what I am talking about. Looks like he dropped a little bit there. Now all we have left is uh, one Corvette. It looks like there hasn't been a bounty for any of this yet. All right, let's uh, let's tractor in this ore, and that guy is out. We did have an ordnance crate over here. Let's go ahead and pick that up, as we are out of ordnance. And I know there's another ordnance crate somewhere. It's right over here. All right, here it is. We'll pick this up, too. We have uh, six missiles for our, our HS missile launchers, our MK-1. Let's pick this guy up. We also have some, some soy paste over there, it seems. And there we go. Look at this. We still have a bomber over here, all by his lonesome. I wonder if he was part of the fleet. He is going to rue the day. Seriously. All of his shields are down. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's go ahead and... Oh, he's a little bit far. Not anymore. And there we go. Just that simple, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and head on towards our target. We are back up to 10 missiles. So, uh, we still have 4,000 muggles to go to our target. Okay, we are 400 stellar miles away from our destination here. We're going to be heading into a siege. This could get hot and heavy really quick. Oh, yeah. All right, and this is also a minefield. We'll have to be very careful. I'm not too worried about it. The mines don't seem to be very fast, to be honest, uh, in their tracking. I'm sure there are some that could be extremely fast, though. All right, we got a... Uh, with some religious tracks. Let's go ahead and suck these in. Look. Nailed it. We need to get after Betty, old Betty, wherever she's at. Oh, Black Betty, bam a lamb. A zibba libba la timmy, lamb a dam. That was my that was my space song. Feel free to sing sing along if you want. Oh, I just ran into that. I believe that was a mine. Okay, we're gonna head after this retaliator. Look at that. Look at look at those mining lasers. Look how effective that is. Goosh. Oh yeah, this is very difficult. All these mines. I'm I'm sort of just going in here all willy nilly. Like I'm not really paying much attention. There's Betty. Let's get her targeted and give her a couple missiles. And we're gonna come around. But oh, we are gonna do this. Betty's Betty's suffering. Here we go. We're gonna speed up. Wow, Betty's Betty's killing it. She must be boosting. Oh, it's over. It's over, Betty. Douche. That was it. That was all we had to do. That was all we had to do. Okay, let's head over here now. We're just gonna go check it out really quick. Wait a second. 
Wait, wrong way. It is this way. It is right over here. And look at that big crystal. You know what? Let's let's screw that. Let's try to get that crystal really quick. All right, let's let the mining lasers take this guy out. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's just so amazing. And this guy's not going to last very long with these broadsides. Skadoosh! We are just making quick work of these, ladies and gentlemen. We got one more retaliator over here. So fast, so quick. You almost feel you almost feel sorry for them, you know. All right, ooh, there's Griel whiskey. I definitely want that. That's uh, that's worth a little bit right there. That is definitely worth a little bit. At least I I want to say like two to three thousand on a bad day is what Griel whiskey is worth. Let's get out of the way of these mines. So what I want to try to do. Who's over here attacking us? I want to try to shoot one of these mines really quick. Here we go. Let's just take this out and see if it drops anything. Yes, the, the mines are definitely hitting us. Let's just take these asteroids out. You can see how quick the uh, these lasers, these mining lasers make of the asteroids. Really quick work. Okay, yeah, so if your scanner doesn't say there's something in the asteroid, then there's nothing in the asteroid. Oh, oh, we just skimmed the side of that one. Let's just take one of these out, these bigger ones. They look like they want to drop something, don't they? But they never do. Yeah, there's like all these crystals. Okay, nothing going on. Let's get out of here. Oh, we got enemies right over here. There's a retaliator back there. No longer. And a fighter, if we can get a lock on them. We've also got one behind us as well, it seems. Uh, we did. Block it, block it. I'm really digging just, just these upgrades. We, we can tank so much more now. And I really want to get some, some upgraded weapons. Like, these mining lasers are incredible. Wow, actually, okay. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, you know what? We're going to call this episode here. We are at the 30-minute mark. Uh, this has been a lot of fun, you know, and, and it seems like there's interest in the series. I mean, uh, you know, we, we've still been getting a pretty consistent amount of views and likes. So, uh, again, I'll gauge on this episode to see if you guys, you know, potentially want to see another episode. And uh, if so, maybe we can do an episode where we just focus on the storyline and progressing and maybe trying to get out of this sector and into the next sector, the Ursa sector, which right now says threat level extreme. And you can see the threat level for the system we're in now is mild. Which makes me think, you know, we could probably take this all right. But, I mean, look at all this. There's so much to explore. And we've, we've only just touched the surface of this game as far as what there is to do. Which is uh, very exciting. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out. It's been great having you here. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions or just want to chat it up, talk about the game or anything else, feel free to do so because, you know, I love that kind of thing. So anyways, look forward to seeing you in the potential next episode. Until then, hope you all have a great one. Take it easy and stay classy.